Hi, I'm Sandy Keen. I'm one of the Art to the Fifth artists, and I want to share a tutorial with you. Um, these are my deli paper flowers, and I use them both in mail art and in my planner. That's the Documented Life Planner. And I want to show you how I make them. Before we get started, I wanted to show you what the flowers look like actually in my planner. You can see here's one that I've cut into two pieces. I like to cut them unequally. And then I glued one piece here and the other over here. And it actually I, it looks like I have two flowers, so I get two flowers out of one. And also, I like to use them whole, but just to make them look like they're coming off the page, I cut the side and then just butt it up against that edge. I'm going to show you the supplies that I use to do my flowers. I start with some paints. I picked my favorite colors. Um, I have both um, slightly expensive paints and really, really cheap paints. And there's really no difference. So use what you have. I even have some ultra cheap paint. So whatever you like, just do it on your colors that you like. So I have some paints. Um, I have a brayer that I'm going to use on my faux jelly plate that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. A um, pair of scissors. This is the Pilot Promo Ball that you guys, if you're a part of the DLP project, you've heard so much about. I'm going to use that. A Yoohoo glue stick, which we use here in Florida because of humidity. This is the best glue stick that we've found to deal with our unique situation here in Florida. Um, this is what I use for a faux jelly plate. This is actually part of a, I believe it's Cropper Hopper. It is a 12 by 12 paper holder from way back in the day when we all scrapbooked. Um, I'm going to hold it up and see if you can see it. Do you guys remember these? They're, they're about, oh, I'd say a half an inch thick and used to put paper collections in them. I found that this works really well as a jelly plate. I'm also going to use some text paper just ripped out of an old book and I'm going to use some deli paper. Now on our Facebook page for the Documented Life Project there have been lots of questions about deli paper. This is what the box looks like. This is deli paper. I'll pull it out. This is actually what delis use to wrap your sandwich in. It is close to wax paper, but it's a little lighter and less waxy. But this, if you can see, this is deli paper. And I also have on my table um, underneath a sheet of newsprint, and that not only protects my surface, but it also, when I'm done, I'm going to have some yummy color on there that I'm going to use in other projects. So, there we go. Okay, we're going to start with making some of our papers with my faux jelly plate here. Um, I really like the pink, orange, white um, combination. It's one of my favorites. I think it's wildly inspired by Ray Missigman who loves these colors and now she's taught me to love these colors. So I'm just going to blop out some paints and I'm going to use my brayer. Wow, look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to take my text paper, I'm just going to lay it down, press, Look at that, so pretty. I'm gonna go for a little bit more paint on that side. Oh, even better. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna do the same on deli paper so that I have both combinations on both types of paper. So I'm gonna smush that around a bit. And then I'm gonna take what's left on my brayer and I'm just gonna go over my paper and get some more color on there from the brayer. Put that aside. I'm going to run this on my on my newsprint. You can see I've got a blob right there. I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to smush that onto my newsprint and you will see these newsprint pages showing up in my planner. 
could also, this would be great um, as a background for mail art. So now I'm going to leave those colors on there because I love them. And now I'm going to go into my next combination, which this is a teal color, lime green. A little bit of yellow and I love white and everything just to tone those colors down just a little bit I think it also makes them pop going back with my brayer getting a nice this this combination really reminds me of Florida so now I'm gonna grab some more text paper Mush it down. That's really pretty. Just as is. I'm not doing anything more to that. Here's some deli paper. I'm gonna smash that down, smush it all around, pick up those paints. That's pretty. Gonna add a little bit more with my brayer. That looks great. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside. I'm going to take these yummy colors once again. I'm going to smush it onto my newsprint. And whatever's left from my brayer is going on there too. And I'm going to stop there. The next step is I'm going to pick one of my text papers and I'm going to doodle a flower on them. When I do it, I usually fill the whole sheet. So I'm going to start over in this corner, and I usually kind of look at the colors, and I'm going to start where I see colors that I like. Um, for center, I always do a donut. So it's a circle inside a circle, and then my goal is a five petal flower, and I like a little dip in the top of the petal. So there you go. That's the first way around. They do not have to be perfect. In fact, they shouldn't be. This should be fun and just flow. Now all I'm doing is outlining the petal again, following what I just did. And that's done. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to turn my paper just a little, and here's a pretty combination. It's got some of that pink in it, too. So I'm going to do my donut. I'm going to start over. And five petals. I do them about the same size, but I do not worry about it. This is for fun. So flow around the petals. And there's two. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this page, and you can watch. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to switch over to my other color combination and I'm going to draw a flower on this one and just like before, I would go ahead and fill the whole sheet, but for filling purposes, I'm just going to do the one. So there's my one flower. So the next step is to stop and I'm going to cut them out. I like the Martha Stewart scissors. They're sharp, they make it really easy and fast to cut them out. When I cut out, it's just like when I draw, I don't um, try to make it perfect. I'm going around the edge, I'm leaving a small edge, about a sixteenth of an inch, but you know, it doesn't matter. Just go for it. Cut, you can do this um, in front of the TV, watching your favorite show, whatever. Have your kids help you. These are fun. So there it is, cut out. Okay, now I've got my two sheets of deli paper. And what I like to do is I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to put the pink on the blue collection. And I'm going to put the blue on the pink. So I take my Yoohoo glue stick. And I'm going to glue basically just in the center. I like to leave the edges loose. It gives the flower a little more dimension. Glue that down, and then I'm going to move this one over, 
and I'm going to glue center and pick a pretty spot in my pink and stick that down. Okay, now I'm going to draw another set of petals on this other color scheme. So I'm going to go around and it's the same petals that I just made before. And I'm going to do the double petal just like I did last time. Okay, I'm going to push that aside. And I'm going to do the same thing with this blue on the yummy pink. Going around the petals. Outline it again. Okay. Now, the only thing left to do is to cut this out. around the edges. Again, no perfection. Turning as I go. These are lots of fun and because they're so flat, they are very easily mailed in a card or mail art to someone else. It's nice to share them. deli paper flowers with the text paper centers. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And now let's get back to our planners. Thank you.